Hi, in this video, we are going to understand the fifth chapter, the fundamental unit of life. We will cover the following topics in this video. First, we will know what is cell. After that, we will know about the cell theory. Then after, we will learn about types of organism. We will also study the types of cells. The structural organization of a cell will also be studied in this video. We will learn about the cell organelles, their composition and function. And lastly, we will know some important definitions. So, let's start with our first topic. The very first thing that comes to our mind before starting the chapter, what is cell? Well, cell is the basic, structural and functional unit of life, discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. It means a cell is capable of independent existence and can carry out all the functions which are necessary for a living being. Unicellular organisms are capable of independent existence which shows a cell's capability to exist independently like in amoeba. The Cell Theory The theory states that all the plants and animals are composed of cells and the cell is the basic unit of life was presented by two biologists, Sledden and Sean. After this, theory was further expanded by YQ suggesting that all cells arise from pre-existing cells. Types of Organism On the basis of number of cells, organisms are of two types. They are Unicellular organism. These organisms are single celled which perform all the functions. Example Amoeba, Bacteria. Number two, multicellular organism. Organisms made up of more than one cell which perform different functions in the body and also form various body parts. Example Fungi, plants, animals. Now we will study about the types of cells. In this chapter, we will only have to study about the cells on the basis of presence of nuclear membrane and organelles. Cells are of two types. They are prokaryotic cells. Cells in which the nuclear material is not enclosed by nuclear membrane and membrane-bound cell organelle are absent. The organism poses these kind of cells is known as prokaryotes. The second one is eukaryotic cells. Cells having well-defined nucleus and membrane-bound cell organelle is termed as eukaryotic cell. The organism poses this kind of cell is known as eukaryote. The eukaryotic cell are of two types. They are plant cell and animal cell. Now we are going to differentiate between the characteristic of these cells. Cell wall and plastid are present in plant cell while it is absent in animal cell. Vacuoles are present and large in size approximately 50% to 90% cell volume in plant cell but in animal cell mostly vacuoles are absent or in small size. Centrioles are present in animal cell while it is absent in plant cell. Centrosomes is present with one or two centrioles, but in the case of plant cell, centrosome is absent. The structural organization of a cell. Basically, all the cell have three basic cell components, 
which are plasma membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. All activities inside the cell and interaction of the cell with its environment are possible due to these features. Let's see how. Plasma membrane or cell membrane. This is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the content of the cell from its external environment. It is flexible and is made up of organic molecules called lipids and proteins. It allow or permit the entry and exit of some material in and out of the cell. So the cell membrane is called a selectively permeable membrane. Cell wall The cell wall is another rigid outer covering. Lies outside the plasma membrane made up of cellulose. Cellulose is a complex substance which provides structural strength to plants. It permits the cell of plant, fungi and bacteria to withstand very dilute media without bursting. Now, we will talk about nucleus. What is nucleus and what are its functions? Nucleus is known as the brain of the cell as it controls all the activities of the cell. If we examine a nucleus under microscope, we found a double layered covering called nuclear membrane. The membrane has pores which allow the transfer of material from inside the nucleus to the cytoplasm. The nucleus contain chromosomes which are visible as rod shaped structure only when the cell is about to divide. Chromosomes contain information for inheritance of features from parents to next generation in form of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid molecules. Chromosomes are composed of DNA and protein. Functionally, nucleus plays a central role in cellular reproduction. Control all the activities of cell by determining and directing the chemical activities of the cell. Lastly, we will talk about cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the fluid content inside the plasma membrane. It also contains many specialized cell organelles. It helps in exchange of material between cell organelles act as store of vital chemicals like amino acid, glucose, etc. The most important cytoplasm is the site of certain metabolic pathways. Our next topic in the chapter is cell organelles. As we know that every cell has a membrane around it to keep it content separate from the external environment. Some important example of cell organelles which we will discuss now are endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, plastids and vacuoles. They are important because they carry out some very crucial function in cells. So our first cell organ is endoplasmic reticulum denoted by ER. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membranous canals filled with fluid. They carry materials throughout the cell, therefore known as the transport system of the cell. There are two types of ER. The first one is rough ER while the second one is smooth ER. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is lined with ribosomes. So rough in appearance. The ribosomes are the sites of protein manufacture. A smooth endoplasmic reticulum contains no ribosomes 
and is smooth in appearance. The SER helps in the manufacture of fat molecules or lipids important for cell function. Some other protein and lipids function as enzymes and hormones. The second cell organ is Golgi apparatus. First describe Camelogolgi. Golgi apparatus consists of a system of membrane bound vesicles arranged approximately parallel to each other in stack called cisterns. Its function include the storage, modification and packages of products in vesicles. In some cases complex, sugar may be made from simple sugar in the Golgi apparatus. It is also involved in the formation of lysosomes. Next cell organ is lysosomes. Lysosomes are a kind of waste dispatch and disposal system of the cell. They have membrane bounded structure whose sacs are filled with digestive enzymes. It helps to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as worn out cell organelles. Under abnormal condition, when the cell gets damaged, lysosomes may burst and the enzymes digest their own cell. Therefore, they are also known as suicide bags. Now, we will talk about one more cell organ, which is mitochondria. Mitochondria are known as powerhouses of the cell. The energy required for various chemical activities needed for life is released by mitochondria in the form of ATP molecules. ATP is known as energy currency of the cell. Mitochondria have two membranes covering instead of just one. The outer membrane is very porous while the inner membrane is deeply folded. They have their own DNA and ribosomes. Therefore, mitochondria are able to make some of their own protein. Plastids is also an important cell organ. What is plastid? Plastids are double membrane bound organelles. There are two types of plastids, chromoplast and leucoplast. Chromoplast contains different colored pigment. The most important type of chromoplast is the chloroplast. Chloroplast contain the green pigment known as chlorophyll, important for photosynthesis in plant. Leucoplasts are colorless, primarily organelles in which materials such as starch, oil and protein granules are stored. Plastids also have their own DNA and ribosomes like mitochondria and similar to its structure. At last, we will know about the storage sacs for solid or liquid contents known as vacuoles. In plant cells, vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. In single-celled organism like amoeba, the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed. Some important terms we should remember. Diffusion, the spontaneous movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to the region of low concentration. Osmosis, the movement of water molecules through selectively permeable membrane along the concentration gradient. Hypotonic solution, solution in which Medium surrounding the cell has higher water concentration than cell. Isotonic solution. 
solution in which medium has exactly same water concentration as the cell. Hypertonic solution Solution in which medium has lower concentration of water than cell. Plasmolysis Plasmolysis occurs when a plant cell starts to lose internal water. The water flows out of the cell in a process is known as osmosis. The result is a condition called plasmolysis. Cellular reproduction. It is the process by which a single cell divides and forms two new cells. Genes. Functional segment of DNA are called genes. Nucleoid. An undefined nuclear region containing only nucleic acid is called nucleoid. Generally found in bacteria. Cell organelles. The different components of cell perform different function and these components are called cell organelles. That's it in this chapter. Thank you.